You were reading my mind there with that one, Laura and Bobby, because I have so many sedum that need to be split. How busy. I know, I know. It's gonna be, this is a good time to do it though because they're so small yeah. that you can really see the whole thing and pull the whole clump up, cut it in half with a really sharp spade. Even more, even more Okay, than cut it in cut quarters, it in quarter. yep. share it with neighbors, plant it all over, you get four yep. plants. It's great, multiply. Okay, it's true. our first question comes from Sandra. And Sandra asked if anyone has carpenter ants after putting wood chip mulch on their garden. That's a good question. Yeah, it's a good question and it's also not true. Carpenter ants eat wood. They do not eat the bark or the shredded bark at all. It is proven, there's been studies. You wanna keep it at least eight inches away from you know, the, the bottom if you have wood or shingles or anything on your house up against your foundation, but they do not, and only, again, three to four inches. You don't want over six, seven inches of mulch there. They might, it keeps the soil moist and now they travel on the ground, but they eat wood. They do not eat bark. And that is just a really misconception that mulch brings carpenter ants. Yep. So we no, they do not. Such a good point. And we both love mulch so much, so much better than rocks. Yep. So go for the mulch keep it like nice and thick three inches not six inches and that is a good point okay vicky vicky's fall mums are already coming up and she wants to know when she should cut them back well fall mums really will bloom in the middle of the summer if you let them go and they don't mums do not mum flowers do not like heat so if you do that they're going to blast in the summer that's why you can get 30, 40, 50 days, depending on the summer of the bloom. So what you need to do is when they come up now in the spring, you want to about six inches, you want to pinch them back to two inches or so. When they come up again, pinch them back again. Do that two, three times between now. And it's just an easy time to remember July, July 4th on, uh, on Independence Day stop. They'll be short, compact, and they'll bloom at the right time. Good idea, good idea. All right, Julie's rhubarb recently froze. Sorry, Julie. And she's wondering if it will come back or if it's done. Well, it's not done. If frozen rhubarb, if it's bad, if the stem will turn black, the leaves will wilt, you're not gonna use that anyway, so you cut that out. If your whole plant, remember, this is all because of the warm March. So things came out of the ground a little bit early, especially early, early plants like rhubarb. So, you know, if your stalks are rigid and not mushy, they're fine. If the leaves are a little damaged, leave them alone. But if they turn black, cut them off, get rid of them, or cut the whole thing down. It's, it's April. You'll yeah, still, you'll still black, probably get, you, yeah. You'll still yeah. get a crop of them. That's a great idea. Just right. cut them back. All right, we have a question that came in from text. So this came in from Jeff from Eden Prairie. Good morning, Jeff. Thank you for doing that for us. I have about a 12-foot pine where the top four foot is dead. It has been this way for about three years. What can Jeff do to promote continued growth, Bobby? Um, it's really not going to happen. Even if he cut that off, it's, you know, it's going to look like a square plant up on top. Um, what I would recommend is either take a picture or if you can get a piece or something, take it to an arborist or call your city arborist, have them come in. My gut feeling is that thing is not going to perform well over the next five, six years at all. It's going to die from the top down, probably. Oh. So well, the good news is there's nothing you can do to get that to turn green and grow. Yeah, again. I know. That's kind of the case with evergreens. Once they're brown, they're brown. But the good Pretty news much. is it is, it's April, so there's going to be lots of time for him to think about maybe what to replace that with if he has yes. to replace it. Mm -hmm. All right, good tips this morning. And, of course, we're going to see you here in the Care 11 backyard, hopefully very soon. And as I mentioned, there's Bob with his beautiful tie there on our Grow With Care page. Again, it has nearly 70,000 folks that really help each other, so join it. It's a fabulous page.